Hey, greetings from Gary, Indiana. This is Sam Love, the Incomplete Set Collector. I've got a question for you. Did you collect wrappers too back in the day? I just went through a box that I've been keeping a bunch of mine in, and uh, let's take a look at what I got in here. I've been tossing the wrappers in this tin since, well, I'm not really sure when since. I guess we'll figure that out tonight, do a little archeology. span I've had this. You can see here, since 1987. And you can see it's pretty bent up. So what you'll find in here is uh, not going to be in chronological order, of course, because sometimes I will retroactively pick up a pack of vintage junk wax. But yeah, let's go through. I bought a blaster of these on sale recently like a couple of months ago. Yeah. 2016. A little bonus with that. And uh, on clearance. Yeah, I wanted to do that. Yeah. These foil ones can be tricky sometimes. I might pitch that if I got another one. And that one too. Dug into those. Oh, here we go, 94. I bought one pack that year. Well, I guess two now, right? But that year I only bought one. It's pretty. I did not like that design at all. Plus, I was getting into rock and roll. Hey, Snoop. So I must have bought a blaster. Nope, another one of those. So that's at least three packs of 94 tops. Oh, these I like. This the tops fire. I might do another video sometime about art cards. I actually like these quite a bit. And then here, and a couple of those. Quite a few. Sometimes I think about maybe stuffing a few cards in these just to give it form again. Maybe do a little display, because I think these are just as much uh, art as the cards are. Yeah, here, 18, season two. Rip that one. 18, 2019, opening day in series one. Yeah. yeah. Savage. Chrome 2008. Was not collecting that year, but uh, cool find. Oh, here we go. 85 Donruss. And uh, 90 Donruss. Not too bad. Few things more appealing visually. Not my hands, of course, but uh, yeah. I'll put that right up there. <clears throat> Twenty nineteen Bowman again, series two. I like that. I think I got that at the baseball card exchange. Oh, the Babe Ruth Leaf set. High numbers, 2019. Heritage. Oh, there we go. Not ripped to shreds, Fat Pat. 2018 opening day. What do y'all think about inserts? Oh, this one. This is from uh, last year. Boy, that pops. I like these types of cards quite a bit. I think part of it being a historian and a, oh, maybe a sucker for some nostalgia. Bowman Platinum. 18 and 19. Just pick up like one pack of those a year. Ooh, look at that. And I uh, over here, this year's, 
That's 15. We got here a nice little bad. They do a pretty good job of capturing that retro look. All right, now this one, this one is from back in the day. This is the 91. That's going to be tough. There we go. If you want to read all that, you can pause. What's it? 2001. Yeah, I don't know where I picked that up. Must have been like a gas station or something. Again, not collecting that year, but not actively collecting. And these are all stuff I picked up last year. Big League. I like Big League, actually. I guess the, the kid in me is still there. But I like those cheap, uh, fun little sets. Flattened Archive. Did a pretty good job there. Ah, here we go. Look at that, 81. This is probably my oldest one. Just, oh, they're a little different. I never noticed that. Smart to keep it. Sometime, I think, in probably like 1989 or 90, 91, I bought a set of unopened tops one pack of 80 one pack of 81 and one pack of 82 at the lake county fair and i threw the wrappers away oh i regret that so i have to go back and pick them up but i did try the gum too it was hideous 83 donruss that really pops another one wow, fleer 84 fleer Oh, and then the 85. I mean, that 85 Fleer set is just spectacular. I know a lot of you like that 91 set, but that 85 set, I and mean, even the wrapper, all the way around. Huh, Lowell, Lowell, Indiana. Oh, that's funny. I'm going to have to look into that. Lowell is about, hmm. Maybe about a 20 minute drive south in the southern part of Lake County. I'm up here in Gary in the north. And yeah, still got the price, 35 cents. Boy, that's a gem. I'm gonna have to look into that, that's funny. Got it here, this is the 84. No, nothing special there. It's like this, two photos on each card. That was the selling point back then, how much how far it's come. Okay, now we're getting into to what for me would be the vintage. So 1991, Fleer Basketball. You still got anything with Lowell, Indiana? No, Philly. <clears throat> now the Dungeons and Dragons set. I had a lot of these. One dollar. Pause and let Snoopy crunch away there. Skybox, it's the U.S. Dream Team, the greatest team ever assembled. A lot of people asked if it was really sporting to have all these high-ranking professionals playing against these, uh, you know, lower-grade professionals in that Olympics, but that's fun. Hockey. Well, I did a better job opening them back in the day than I do as an adult. It's sad. Here we go. Military industrial complex. These were cheap because, of course, they were subsidized by the Department of Defense. These were not. I Love Lucy. Wasn't a big fan of that show, but I uh, had to get a pack. Now, here's some tops. That's the 91 set, just all around, is really attractive. Even those wrappers. A little different from what they'd been doing throughout the 80s. You know, this is the one uh, we're most familiar with. Especially if you're about my age. They did the same design in 86. They'd recycle them. So when this came around, a little different. 
And I do like the design on those cards. It's a pretty conservative design, but uh, elegant. I had a lot of these. I love the Andy Griffith show. The Skybox football. Oh, God. I feel like they just gave these out. Pro set. <laughs> so many of these. What did you get there? Ooh. A Zubaz NFL Pro Set cap. Get some shades, it looks like. Yeah, there you go. I never redeemed anything. Is this the, uh, oh, is that? Oh, the Pacific football set, yeah. Yeah, I feel like they were just giving these out. So damn many of them. Triple play, another kid set. I really like these ones. These were cheap. Donruss this year went up to, I think, what, a buck a pack? And got all fancy, so this was the their 50 cent. Got here in 1990. Plastic. I mean, people would rifle through these, you know, you had that technique. I never did that. I couldn't be bothered. I'm going to get most of the cards anyway. Cap. Got here. Ooh, 92 Fleer. Pretty cool design, too. I like that one. Uh, football. Young America, Minnesota. Ninety one Fleer football. Yeah. Philadelphia. Oh, Lowell, Indiana. That is funny. Oh, these, man, we used to get these at big lots. I'm missing one card from this set, too, by the way. So um, if you have a bunch of these, maybe get in touch. I'm on Twitter at SuspendedGame2020. Yeah, that, that's very 90s. That Those color schemes, oh boy. It's coming out of the late 80s, too. You saw these pastels. Super high gloss premier edition. Well, there we go. They had a certain smell to them. If you were around back then, you know what I'm talking about. I don't look back at Upper Deck as fondly now, but back then, yeah. This was a weird set. I picked a few of these up recently, too. These were like satire cards. <laughs> Only 2,000 to be issued. That's probably not true. Tops in 88 was going around saying limited editions, and that was not true. Oh, I love these. Yeah, the baseball legends. You know, again, we didn't really have the internet. I mean, it existed. It just, there were bulletin boards, things like that, but it wasn't popularized yet. So this is how you learned about the legends. I, used, I think I used to buy from Pacific their, their pages. Not sure. Here we go. Another one of these. Oh, I liked these. I, they don't, I don't remember them selling these in Northwest Indiana either. I remember picking them up a lot when we take that yearly trip to Arkansas to visit my grandparents. What year is this? Second series. 1989. Yeah, they did, I think, three years of these. And see, they, they were, uh, needed the eight card sleeves for them. Oh, here's some foil. Ooh, talk about shiny. There you go. Nolan Ryan. I completed that set. It was a cool set. Right here, Pinnacle, 1992, Premier Edition. Ooh, the Pacific, set. a lot of Pacific in here. Yeah, the soccer set. I think I completed. It was either this one or the one from the year before. These were fun. These were cheap too. Right here, I'm getting. 
So it looks like 1990 was the year, maybe 89. It looks like 1990 was the year I got the, the bright idea to collect wrappers as well. And last one, 1990. Pro Set Hockey, the hottest card on ice. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for checking this out with me. Give a like, hit subscribe, maybe leave a comment. What kind of wrappers did you collect? If you did collect wrappers, that is. And how do you display them? Yeah, I got a big mess here I got to make some sense out of. Uh, check me out on Twitter, Suspended Game 2020, or you can check my profile about Gary, Indiana, which is Gary Area. All right, this is Sam Love, the Incomplete Set Collector. Hope you're doing all right out there. Take care.